Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that will measure the performance of your JavaScript code. If you're a good developer when you're writing a JavaScript application, you always care about which code should I write that perform the fastest. And as a developer, we all see different solutions for a problem. So it is like it is our choice to go with which one is better by per by checking the performance of our code. So this tool that I will show you in this video is doing the same thing. So it is called measure.net. You can come here, just sign up for an account so you can save all your code. From here, you will create, a let's say, a new benchmark. Give it a unique name. It should be for you and it will be public also. Give it a description and then prepare your HTML code. If you have a JavaScript, you can write down in here. But here is where you write all your test cases. For example, if you have um, two functions, you will write the name of the function or the name of the test in here, then the code in here. The second test, you will write the code in here. When you do that, just submit your test and it is going to show all the performance and which one is working faster than the other one. Here I have done an example. So this is a uh, query selector versus um, query selector all versus get element by class name. And which one do you think is going to perform fast? So this is a test that I have written in here and I will show you. This is the HTML code that I have written. And there is two tests I have in here, query selector all. This is the code and this is uh, for the class name. All of them has this class of list and all of them are li tag. So if I scroll down at the bottom, all you have to do is just run the test in here. If you run it again, it is going to test again and see how it works. Now give it a few seconds, it will show you the result. The query selector all is done and give it a few more seconds. Now this one is also done. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see view result in a separate tab. That is much better uh, to do. So if I come here, it is going to show you the comparison. Query selector all. And if I show you one more thing in this page. It also say which one is fastest. Fastest is query selector by class name. I have a separate video to compare both of them together. Uh, it is very really good to understand what are the difference between them. But for this video, this is just a resource that I am showing you. And it is going to even show uh, how fast it is. If I come here, query selector all will operate this much per second. And query selector by class name it is way faster. Now you can see this uh, chart in here. I think it is 60 now. It is like 80% faster. Probably more than that. Yeah. Uh, so this is how you can write your test. I know it was a basic example. In real world JavaScript example, you are going to write um, much more code than this. You are going to write, let's say you have two functions, you will write your functions. The second function, probably you copy it from Stack Overflow and you will just put it in here and the test will show you the result and the performance. As I said, if you're a really, really good developer, you always care about the performance because that is what matters at the end. I hope this video has been informative. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.